Hello, and welcome back to episode 2 of Doctor Who Releases. And this episode will show um, quite a couple of new things now. And this will be probably a longer episode since it's all the new stuff. But we have TV episodes, comic stories, novelizations, other stuff, a theoretical film, and activity books, and annuals. And this goes over everything during season 2 from the 31st October 1964 to the 6th of September 1965. So, episode 1 of Planet of Giants, named Planet of Giants, was first aired on the 31st of October 1964, and this started season 2. This, this originally, the serial, originally had 4 parts, but it was cut down to 3 after editing. And uh, the re and because of the cutting down, I believe this was the reason uh, Mission to the Unknown was made. I'm not so sh quite sure if that's correct though. Part 2 of Planet of Giants, Dangerous Journey, was first aired on the 7th of November 1964. On the 9th of November 1964, a Doctor Who comic strip made its debut in the 274th issue of TV Comic. The first part was called The Klept Klepton Par Paradise. Sorry, I can't speak. Yeah, the Klepton Paradise. This was the first Doctor Who comic released. And I will be using this image a lot since I can't find images for the other 10 parts. On the 12th of November 1964, a novelization of The Daleks, Doctor Who and Excited Adventure with The Daleks, was published in hardcover by Frederick Muller. Part 3 of Planet of Giants, Crisis, was first aired on the 14th of November 1964. The second part of The Klepton in Paradise was first published in TV comic on the 16th of November 1964. The Radio Times featured a cover story on Doctor Who announcing the Dalek Invasion of Earth and Return of the Daleks on the 19th of November 1964. Part 1 of Dalek Invasion of Earth, World's End, was first aired on the 21st of November 1964. The third part of The Klepton Parasites was first published in TV comic on the 23rd of November 1964. <clears throat> and yes, I meant Parasites, not Paradise. I said it wrong. And I also left the background of the last of my thing on. The... God damn it. Part 2 of the Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Daleks, was first aired on the 28th of November 1964. The fourth part of the Klepton Parasites was first brought pu published on in TV comic. On the 30th of November 1964, but I mean that was hard. A novelization, Doctor Who and Excited Adventure with the Daleks, went into second printing when its original 2000 copy pr print run sold out on December of 1964. The Go Go's released their pop parody single, I'm Gonna Spend My Christmas with a Dalek, on December 1964. Part 3 of the Dalek Invasion Earth, Day of Reckoning, was first aired on the 5th of December 1964. The fifth part of the Klepton Parasites was first published in TV comic on the 7th of December 1964. Part 4 of the Dalek Invasion of Earth, The End of Tomorrow, was first aired on the 12th of December 1964. The sixth part of the Klepton Parasites was first published in TV comic on the 14th of December 1964. Part 5 of the Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Waking Ally, was first aired on the 19th of December 1964. The 7th part of the Klepton Parasites was first published in TV comic on 21st of December 1964. Part 6 of the Dalek Invasion of Earth, Flashpoint, was first aired on the 26th of December 1964 and embarked this famous line across all of Doctor Who. Susan, I've double locked the doors. You can't get in. Now move back, child, where I can see you. During all the years I've been taking care of you, you in return have been taking care of me. Oh, Grandfather, I belong with you. Not any longer, Susan. You're still my grandchild, and always will be. But now, you're a woman, too. I want you to belong somewhere, to have roots of your own. With David, you'll be able to find those roots and live normally like any woman should do. Believe me, my dear, your future lies with David and not with a silly old buffer like me. One day, I shall come back 
Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. The eighth part of the Klepton Parasites was first brought published in TBU Comic on the 28th of December 1964. A paperback edition novelization for Doctor Who and Inside Adventure with the Daleks was published by Amanda Books on January of 1965. Part 1 of The Rescue, The Power, was first aired on the 2nd of January 1965. The ninth part of the Klepton Parasites was first published in TV Comic on the 4th of January 1965. Part 2 of The Rescue, Desperate Measures, was first aired on the 9th of January 1965. The 10th part of The Collect on Parasites was first published in TV comic on the 11th of January 1965. Part 1 of The Romans, The Slave Traders, was first aired on the 16th of January 1965. The first part of The Drovian Quest was first published in TV comic on the 18th of January 1965. Part 2 of the Romans, All Roads Leave to, Lead to Rome, was first aired on 23rd of January 1965. The first part of Genesis of Evil was first published in the first issue of 21st Century 21, kicking off what is now called The Dalek Chronicles on 23rd of January 1965. It also starred different main characters called Zolfan and Yarvelling instead of the, the normal doctor like main character. And god, I butchered those names so poorly. The second part of the Sorovian Quest was first published in TV comic on 25th of January 1965. Part 3 of the Romans, Conspiracy, was first aired on the 30th of January 1965. The second part of Genesis of Evil was published in TV Century 21 on the 30th of January 1965. The third part of the Forever in Quest was first published in TV comic on the 1st of February 1965. Part 4 of the Romans, Inferno, was first aired on 6th of February 1965. The fourth part of Genesis of Evil was published in TV Century 21 on the 6th of February 1965. The fourth part of the Forever in Quest was published in TV Comic on the 8th of February 1965. On the 11th of February 1965, the third Radio Times Doctor Who cover featured the upcoming The Web Planet serial with a photo of the Zambian and the Vortis landscape. Part 1 of The Web Planet, The Web Planet, was first aired on the 13th of February 1965. The first part of Power Play was first published in TV Century 21. This starred new main characters called Sella and Ostrolith instead of the Doctor, and this was released on the 13th of February. The fifth part of the Forovian Quest was published in TV comic on 15th of February 1965. Part 2 of the Web Planet, The Zabi, was first aired on 20th of February 1965. The second part of Power Play was first published in TV Century 21 on the 20th of February 1965. The sixth part of The Forever in Quest was published in TV Comic on the 26th of February 1965. Part 3 of The Web, Web Planet Escapes Danger was first aired on the 27th of February 1965. The third part of Power Play was first published in TV Century 21 on the 27th of February 1965. The band, The Earthlings, released the single Landing on the Daleks slash March of the Robots on Par Parlophone Records on March 1965. The first part of The Hijackers of Frax was first published in TV Comic on the 1st of March 1965. Part 4 of the Web Planet, The Crater of Needles, was first aired on the 6th of March 1965. The fourth part of Power Play was first published in TV Century 21 on 6th of March 1965. The second part of The Hijackers of Frax was first brought published in TV Comic on the 8th of March 1965. Part 5 of the Web Planet, Invasion, was aired on the 13th of March 1965. The fifth part of Power Play was first published on TV Century 21 on the 13th of March 1965. The third part of the Hijackers of Frax 
was first published in TV comic on the 15th of March 1965. Part 6 of the Web Planet, The Center, was first aired on 20th of March 1965. The sixth part of Power Play was first published in TV set in Century 21 on the 20th of March 1965. The first part of on the Web Planet was first published in, tw in TV Century 21 on the 22nd of March 1965. Part 1 of the Crusade, The Lion, was aired on the 27th of March 1965. The sixth part of Power Play was first published on TV Century 21 on 27th of March 1965. The second part of On the Web Planet was first published on TV Century 21 on 29th of March 1965. Part 2 of the Crusade, The King of Jaffa, was first aired on the 3rd of April 1965. This part is sadly missing. The first part of Jewel of Daleks was first published in TV Century 21 on the 3rd of April 1965. It starred Daleks as the main character instead of the Doctor. The third part of On the Web Planet was first published in TV Comic on, on the 5th of April 1965. Part 3 of the Crusade, The Bill of Fortune, was aired on the 10th of April 1965. The second part of Jewel of the Daleks was first published in TV Century 21 on 10th of April 1965. The fourth part of On the, Web, On the Web Planet was first published on TV Comic on 12th of April 1965. Part 4 of the Crusade, The Warlords, was first aired on 17th of April 1965. This part is sadly missing. The third part of Jewel of the Daleks was first published in TV Century 21 on 17th April 1965. The fifth part of On the Web Planet was first published in TV Comic on 19th April 1965. Part 1 of the Space Museum, The Space Museum, was aired on the 24th of April 1965. The fourth part of Jewel of the Daleks was first published in TV Century 21 on 24th of April 1965. The sixth part of On the Web Planet was first published in TV Comic on the 26th of April 1965. Part 2 of the Space Museum, The Dimensions in Time, was aired on the 1st of May 1965. Oh, and I just love this clip. I told them all, I am the master. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth part of Jordan Daleks was first published in TV Century 21 on t on the 1st of May 1965. The first part of the Gyros and Justins was published in TV Comic on the 3rd of May 1965. Part 3 of the Space Museum, The Search, was aired on the 8th of May 1965. The sixth part of Jordan Daleks was first published in t TV Century 21 on the 8th of May 1965. The second part of the Gyros and Justice was first published in TV Comic on the 10th of May 1965. Part 4 of the Space Museum, The Final Phase, was aired on the 15th of May 1965. The seventh part of Jewel of the Daleks was first published in T TV Century 21 on the, 20th, on, on the 15th of May 1965. The third part of the Gyros and Justice was first published in TV Comic on the 17th of May 1965. Part 1 of The Chase, The Executioners, was aired on the 22nd of May 1965. The first part of the um, um, uh, I can't say that. Amaril Challenge was first published in TV Century 21 on the 22nd of May 1965. It starred the Daleks as the main character instead of the Doctor. I'm going to say this wrong so many times. The fourth part of The Gyros and Justice was first published in TV Comic on the 24th of May 1965. Part 2 of The Chase, The Death of Time, was aired on the 29th of May 1965. The second part of The Amaril Challenge was first published in 21st Century 21, did I, did I, sorry, TV Century 21, on the 29th of May 1965. The fifth part of the Gyros and Justice was pub first published in TV Comic on the 31st of May 1965. Part 3 The Chase, Flight for Eternity, was first aired on the 5th of June 1965. The third part of the Am Amaril Challenge was first published in TV Century 21 on the 5th of June 1965. Part 6, or, or sorry, the sixth part of Gyros and Justice was first published on, in TV Comic on the 7th of June 1965. Part 4 of The Chase, Journey into Terror, was first aired on the 6th, 6th, 9th, I can't speak now, 12th of June 1965.
part, the fourth part of the Amaral Challenge was first published in TV Century 21 on 12th of June 1965. The first part of Challenge of the Piper was first published in TV Comic on the 14th of June 1965. On the 17th of June 1965, the Dalek painting book was published by Souvenir Press and Panther Books. A massive 350,000 copies were printed. Part 5 of The Chase, The Death of Doctor Who, was aired on the 19th of June 1965. The fifth part of the Amarill Challenge was first published on, in TV Century 21 on the 19th of June 9, 1965. The second part of Challenge of the Piper was first published in TV comic of the 21st on the 21st of June 1965. A theatrical film, Doctor Who and the Daleks, was the first colour episode seen on Doctor Who, and it's a first film as well, as having a different actor play the Doctor, and is also known for having a different actor playing the Doctor instead of William Hartnell. And this one was Peter Cushion. This was released on the 25th of June, 1965. I just didn't have it right, written down, for sake. Part 6 of The Chase, The Planet of Decision, was aired on the 26th of June, 1965. The sixth part of the Am Amarillo Challenge was first published in TV Century 21 on the 26th of June, 1965. The third part of Challenge of a Piper was first published in TV comic on the 28th of June 1965. On July of 1965, the pop single Who's Who, performed by Robert, Roberta Tovey, was released on Polydor. And by the way, this was the 100th clip. I know, this episode is that long. On July of 1965, Jack Dorsey and his orchestra released the single Dance of the Daleks on Polydor. Part 1 of the Time Meddler, The Watcher, was first aired on the 3rd of July 1965. The seventh part of the Amaral Challenge was first published in TV Century 21 on the 3rd of July 1965. The fourth part of Challenge of the Piper was first published in TV Comic on 5th of July 1965. Part 2 of the Time Meddler, The Meddling Monk, was first aired on the 10th of July 1965. The first part of The Pentaray Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on the 10th of July 1965. It started with the Daleks as the main character instead of the Doctor. The fifth part of Challenge of the Piper was first published in TV Comic on the 12th of July 1965. Part 3 of the Time Meddler, A Battle of Wits, was aired on the 17th of July 1965. The second part of The Pentaray Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on the 17th of July 1965. The first part of Moon Landing was first published on TV Comic on the 19th of July 1965. Part 4 of The Time Meddler, Checkmate, was aired on the 24th of J July 1965. This marks the end of the TV season, but there's still more releases as follows. The third part of the Pentaray Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on the 24th of July 1965. The second part of Moon Landing was first published in TV Comic on 26th of July 1965. The fourth part of the Pentaway Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on the 31st of July 1965. On August 1965, an activity book, Paint and Draw, the film of Doctor Who and Daleks, was first published by Souvenir Press. Again, 350,000 copies were made. The third part of Moon Landing was first published in TV Comic by the on the 2nd of August 1965. The first part of Time in Reverse was first published in TV Comic on the 9th of August 1965. The sixth part of The Pentaway Factor was for first published in TV Century 21 on the 14th of August 1965. The second part of Time in Reverse was first published in TV Comic on the 16th of August 1965. The seventh part of The Pentaway Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on the 21st of August 1965. The third part of Time in Reverse was first published in TV Comic on the 23rd of August 1965. The eighth part of The Pentaway Factor was first published in TV Century 21 on 20th of August 1965. The first part of Lizard World was first published in TV Comic on the 30th of August 1965. 
On September of 1965, the Doctor Who Annual 1966, the first ever annual, was published by World Distributors. I can't say that now. On the 1st of September 1965, TV Comic Annual 1966, containing Prisoners of the Klepton and By the Caterpillar Men, was released. The first part of Plague of Death was first published in TV Century 21 on the 4th of September 1965. And finally, the second part of Lizard World was first published in TV Comic on the 16th of September 1965. Oof, that was a lot. So, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell. Uh, this one took me a long time to make, so I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next one. Sorry if I really like messed up on some words or started a lot. I just, I didn't want to um, like I didn't want to uh, kind of repeat uh, the same thing because I'm kind of um, kind of some time right now, time and space. So I'll see you guys anyway. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.